I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll investigate about the slope of a line. The question which we are going to answer is how to find points on a line when the slope is given to us. Normally with the given points we were trying to find the slope, right? So this is kind of reverse calculation, right? In this example we are given the slope. So for the first one we have slope of 0.5 you need to find two points and for the second example slope is minus 2 over 3 of a line and you need to find any two points on that line okay so that's the question for you so what you can do is you can actually plot the points on the coordinate plane and also check your result so let us try to answer this question first let us understand what slope is so when I say slope it means what? It means change in y value which is independent variable for us we will put that on the y axis over change in x value which is the independent variable along the x axis. So change in y which is dependent variable I'm sorry dependent variable over change in x which is independent variable right so this difference which in short we can also call as delta y over delta x is that okay so that is what we know about slope now in this question we are given slope of the line is 0 0.5 so when I say slope m1 is 0 0.5 then I could write this as 5 over 10 which is like half do you see that it's better to write in fraction at times so that we can correlate change in y and change in x. Do you see that? So when I say that slope is half, that is to say, what am I saying here is basically that change in y over change in x is half. That is to say, half is equals to delta y over delta x. Okay. Now, connecting these two, connecting these two, what do you get? You get that the change in x delta x that means change in x is equals to 2 and change in y is 1. So now it is I think simpler to find any two points which will give us slope of 0.5 or half. So let's take one point as in general uh, let's take a point P which is x y. In that case what should be the point Q so that the slope is half. So basically we are saying point Q is such that change in X is 2. So we can add 2, that is one change. We could subtract also, right? So we can do X plus 2, that is a change. And change in Y should be 1. So we do Y plus 1. That should give me two points. Joining them, the slope of the line should always be half, correct? So let's take some examples. So for keeping it simple, let me take a point uh, A, which is, let us say, 1, 2. Okay. So 1 and 2 means 1 is along the x-axis and 2 is along the y-axis. So we get a point here. So we have a point A right there, 1 and 2. So what should be the point B? Since the change should be increase x value by 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 and increase the y value by 1 so that is 3 right so 3 3 so we have this so 1 2 and 3 so we have a point which is kind of let's go up 3 units 3 units so that point right so if I join these two points then I do get a line whose slope will be half correct so I get a point and I hope you understand the concept let us check it out right is it really half let's check it out so we'll make a triangle here to check the slope right now in this particular case what is the rise rise here is this is the y value of 3 this is 2 right so this distance is 3 minus 2 which is 1 as for the x values are concerned, the difference is between 1 and 3, right? 3, 3. So this distance here is 3 minus 1, which is 2. 
and clearly the slope is 1 over 2 right so for this line 1 we do have a slope which is 3 minus 2 divided by 3 minus 1 which is equals to 1 over 2 so it is same as 0 0.5 so you can see how we can find two points on the line which will have the given slope now here is the practice question for you we want you to find a set of points on a line which has a slope of minus 2 over 3. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. As we did last time, when I say that the slope is minus 2 over 3, it means what? Let's go through it, right? So when I say M2 slope is minus 2 over 3, in that case, we are saying that change in y is minus 2 and change in x is 3. So if I take a point P whose coordinates are x and y, then the coordinates of Q should be what? x value 3 change. So we'll say keep it positive. So we'll say x plus 3, right? Change in y minus 2. So y minus 2. So that set of points should give me answer correct so what we can do here is we can find different set of points so what i will do this time slightly different approach let's learn new things okay so i'll make a kind of a table and get many points not just two okay and the idea here is to give some value to p and find some value for q right knowing fully well that q is three more x value and two less y value so let me begin with coordinate point let's say minus 1 and let's say minus 2 okay so in that case q should be 3 more than minus 1 that is to say 2 and y value should be 2 more I mean take away 2 more from here so that will give me minus 4 right minus 2 minus 2 is that okay so that will give me minus 4 well, let's take origin as one of our points, 0, 0. So if I take 0, 0 as a point, 0 plus 3 is 3, and 0 minus 2 is minus 2. So we get a set of points. Likewise, you can take any values of x, y, and you get many points. And all these points will be placed as a set with different lines having the slope of minus 2 over 3. So let's plot this and check our answer minus 1 minus 2 will be this is minus 1 and minus 2 means going down 2 units okay so that is minus 1 minus 2 this is minus 2 is that okay so first point we'll call this point as p right and the second point will be 2 minus 4 so 2 and minus 4 so this is uh, 1 i mean 1 2 then it is 3 and 4, kind of here, right? So that will be point Q for me, whose coordinates are, so we are plotting this line now, right? So we'll call this line as L2 for us. Okay, so if I join these two points, kind of like this, then I get a line whose slope will be minus half. So if you check the slope of this, it will be minus half. You could do rise over run, correct, as we did last time, and check the result, right? So rise over run. So you can see that the run is, is from here to here, right? 3 minus minus 1, which is 4, right? So, so rise over run for this particular case. Rise, if you go from here, it is dropping down to to this level so q is 2 minus 4 so this point is minus 4 so you come down from minus 2 to minus 4 correct that is to say minus 2 going down by 2 units means minus 2 and run is towards the right once you go 2 units down let's see like this 1 2 right then the run is 1 2 3 and 4 correct so up to three so four so which is minus half you could do like this also you could use the formula y2 minus y1 and check your result is that okay so you'll confirm that this line which has the points minus one minus two and two minus four 
will always have a slope of minus 2 over 3, right? The second point which I have drawn here is for the second set of points on a different line. So this will give you a different line. So in this case, what we have is, is a point which is at 0, 0, right? So we'll take a point 0, 0, which is the origin, and then 3 minus 2. So 3 units to the right and 2 units down, correct? So if you join this, you get another line. And slope of this line will also be equals to minus 2 over 3. Do you get the idea, right? So like this, we can always find many different lines meeting the criteria, right? So as we saw here, we can actually create a table of values and find many different lines, which could have the given slope. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope this concept of reverse calculation, finding points with given slope, is clear to you and you find it interesting. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn. Thank you and all the best.